Brickmaster5000 here, and today I'm going to be opening 5 packs of the LEGO Movie 2 minifigure series. Go ahead and open up our first pack. I have my scissors right here. Let's just see who this is going to be. And it is... So here's a Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. This is such a detailed figure, I like this figure. First of all, you don't get a figure in like complete silver color, which is nice. And he comes with this uh, new axe piece for 2019, which is cool, and silver. He has side leg and arm printing, which I think is cool. And he comes with this heart piece, which was introduced in the LEGO Movie 2 wave. In Sweet Mayhem Sistar Starship. Just take off his uh, oil funnel hat. And he has no second face because if you put his hat back on, his, the back of his head is exposed. Oh, and also you actually get white bases for this minifigure series. All right, let's just move on to our next pack. Let's just see who this is. It is... Wait, who is this? It's... Oh, wait, there's a big piece in here. Oh, it's Watermelon Dude. I really wanted this guy. So here is Watermelon Guy. And Lego could easily use this piece for a pizza-suited guy. Yeah, th they actually have the potential to do that. Too bad the white stripe doesn't go, like, to the sides. I would have made it better. And he has a second face. No printing on the torso, obviously, because it's mostly going to be covered up by the giant watermelon. And he comes with two of these watermelon pieces, which I'm thankful for having. I wanted, I've been wanting some of these. And I still want the pizza pieces, but not as much as these, because I love watermelon. And you already saw his front face. There it is without the watermelon piece. He's like, chill out, man. And yeah, that was Watermelon Guy. Let's just move on to our next pack. So let's see our next pack. Who is this gonna be? And it is... Whoops, I just moved it. It's the Crayon Girl. Well, here's a purple Crayon Girl. She's uh, very unique because she has this giant crayon suit on her. She kind of reminds me of the um, crayon. I mean, not the crayon. I mean the firework from the Lego Minifigure Series 18. Let's take that off. She has no printing on the front of her torso. Whoa, she just threw that. And no printing at the back. But she does have a second face. Like she's... She's super cheerful. And she has dual molded legs, so that's cool. You could easily mistake this for a real crayon. Okay, where's the, where's the, um... Oh, and she also comes with, uh, this minifigure drawing, which she drew, this minifigure head drawing. But she doesn't have any crayons included, so... Now you're just gonna have to assume that she drew it with her body, which is weird. And yeah, let's just move on to our next minifigure. Let's get our second to last pack. Uh, I hope we get somebody new. I hope we didn't get a duplicate. And it is. Who is this? It's, oh, it's Unikitty. So here's Unikitty. I don't really know why she's here if she already has her own minifigure series. And I would have actually preferred the new Apocalypse Berg version of her. But no, she's just the same Unikitty from the Lego Movie 1. And they actually stuck with the old stud connection. People didn't like that because it's used to fall off easily. And look, it's back. Wow, that's um, pretty incredible. Not really. I kind of hated this connection. I never got a uh, original Unikitty from the Lego movie. But you could already tell, like, just by moving the head a little bit, uh, the head already wants to fall off. Yeah, that's great. Maybe uh, the job for the last minifigure was um taken by a dumb person maybe lego was like hey uh can you design a minifigure because we don't have any more minifigures left and we need one more to make 20 minifigures for this series and the guy was like hey i know let's include um the regular lego movie version of unikitty people will like that right and then lego was like yeah that's a perfect minifigure you're hired no this is not a good option just go ahead and open up our last pack. 
I hope we get uh somebody awesome. Oh, and the movie's out today. Tell me, guys, if you're gonna go see the movie. I definitely am. Who is this? We have. So here's Mrs. Scratch and Post. Not really a good fan of this one, but I really love the cat. The cat is awesome. Like the cat is a mohawk. He like has a spiked collar, like teeth in the front or fangs, whatever. He has like um, all bandaged up. Like if he got beat up or something or scratched up, this cat is hilarious. He's awesome. He even has a little printing right here. And Mr. Scratch and Post, not really a good figure. I mean, she is cool. Like, she has this uh, cat or lion emblem here. She has a lot of silver elements. And, like, this band on top of her head and stuff. And if you turn her around, um, she doesn't have a second face. But she has more silver on her, so that's cool. And side arm printing and side leg printing, which is amazing. And yeah, that's uh, basically the entire opening. So here are all the minifigures we got for today. Actually, my favorite one has got to be the watermelon dude. Because I really love this guy. He looks so awesome. I was originally going to choose the Tin Man. But then I said, no, I love watermelon better. Um, let me go with this. And definitely my least favorite one was Unikitty. Because she just seems boring. Look, now she's just uh, bobbing her head. I hope you have enjoyed this video, comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you would get notified of all my content every single day. Without further ado, I'm going to end the video. Brickmaster5000 out.